there what's up guys all right so make a couple changes again uh on the some of the upgrades and stuff that i have put in this on this bike um but anyways i'll go ahead and start off with the front so basically i have the bmw hp mudguard the carbon fiber um also have the rizoma windshield um then I have the radiator guard. Pretty much that's it for the front. Oh, actually I do have the ABM clip on, uh, which is pretty nice. A little, a little bit more aggressive, but it's good. It's all right. Um, and also here's my wireless uh, vibration jig uh, phone holder. Pretty good. Basically I clamped it up to the center post. Um, all right what else and just uh, right on the engine I have the um, Wonder Lich crash cord I also got the the red color just to match the frame basically um, really kind of necessary just in case I do drop the bike I sure don't want to replace this and roughly about two thousand dollars to replace that for a set I don't know if you could buy a single one. All right, and I actually also have the Rizoma Spy R. I think it's the Spy R um, bar and mirror. I originally wanted the motor gadget turn signal so I can take this off, but I like this one better. I don't mind this big old wobbly turn signal with the front ones. Still good. Uh, what else I've done? uh oh the license plate uh bracket by rizoma as well so basically i had that there run the wires through here underneath this and go up to the control box up there um <clears throat> so again if uh, you guys don't know what this bike is it's the bmw r9 t option 719 with couple upgrades from the dealer itself which is the 719 option cylinder head and also this i think that's the only thing that came with it as far as i'm concerned uh, i don't have the rear set yet so thinking of getting those as well um yeah that's uh pretty much oh, i got the the dallas tail tidy um a really nice piece it actually makes the bike look more sleek I would say um, I do also have the Rizoma turn signal um, the amber uh, color I have that as well um, the tail tidy is really 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 nice uh, the normal one comes out this way it's a big plastic piece with the brake lights and a turn signal and uh, that was the original I didn't like the look of it um last but not least i think i have the titanium exhaust um basically this is uh custom made um really just to kind of have the arch of the wheel kind of matches it however uh with the 2021 i was not able to i could no longer uh, remove the flapper so basically this one's right here the flapper is inside there um, it should slip right on but unfortunately i can't so i had a little bit more of uh modifications here just basically clamping both sides uh the exhaust and the header itself with this clamp um i don't, I don't like it as much as i want to so i'm gonna find a titanium uh manufacturer that really handles this so i could eliminate the clamp and then move this over closer so i can I can have the exhaust more closer to the tire section as you can see it's a, a little, it sticks out a little bit more on this side uh, as much as I want to add it, it does show a lot though that's the only thing people can really actually see it right away um, unfortunately I don't like the look of it so I'm gonna go ahead and push that there um, yeah and that's pretty much it uh, so far I love this bike uh, the Rizoma windshield, I don't, I'm not too fun about it. I got it. Um, some guy gave it to a good buddy of mine gave it to me, so um, I don't mind having it. It does help though on the high speed, um, definitely. So I probably keep that there for now. 
uh, so far this is it uh, I don't have any other modification maybe I'll probably change this one the front t uh, turn signal um, not sure which one to get yet uh, most likely probably Rizoma I'm not sure which type of Rizoma there's a couple of couple of uh, Rizoma turn signal that uh, they do have especially now that they have um, newer products that just came out so all right uh, the exhaust the headers that I have it's uh, really stuck it's stuck there uh, I'm not I don't think I'm going to replace that with a titanium as of yet um, the only reason is uh, having the slip on alone it's already too loud not too loud per se but I just don't want to get hassled by cops I mean cops over here in my area are pretty cool about it they kind of stop by and say oh hello you know kind of ask about my bike but they don't really ask about that but uh, some of the bikes around the area is a lot louder than mine even with that so I'm keeping the cat Heather not removing yet uh, unless I'm going with the Akrofovich uh, titanium exhaust with with the catalytic catalytic converter also in it so uh, what else yeah that's that's pretty much all I have nothing yet I don't know if you guys want to hear I'm on a private parking lot so I think it doesn't look like someone's here so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this on kind of let you guys hear the exhaust and see how it is all right exhaust um, but normally when you're between 1500 to 3000 rpm it, it's pretty quiet they don't really hassle you or anything on the street but yeah definitely you get a a look of when you're passing by through everyone um what else yeah i think that's it that's all i got uh on the modification um it is the 2021 bmw r9 t option 719 with all the decals there it's not really a sticker it's paint so the way how it's painted for the 2021 i think i believe the 2022 they also offer this model so uh, nothing has changed yet as far as color scheme wise they, they have the same um let me see I think the most expensive part that I bought from this bike is the crash guard. The crash guard is really just from Wonderledge. Um, it's normally it's 489. However, with if you do have the option 719 cylinder head or any uh, additional or uh, aftermarket cylinder heads that sticks out more, you do need to get the extended uh, screws and bolts, um, which is an additional 120, I believe it is. However, um, it is worth every single penny of it warren the are a pretty great company um i've contacted them called them they they were such a great help um i originally wanted the uh, either the rizoma or the other brand that uh, revzilla uh sells unfortunately their customer service is really is it uh, up there when i ask about the compatibility of the 2021 model because as you know majority of the companies only list uh, 2020 up to 2020 not up to 2021 it doesn't look like they have updated all their um, listing for cap um, the uh, options of, of what can work on the newer model um, they, they told me straight out I have to contact the company they only sell the products I, I, I think that was <laughs> that was pretty sucks <laughs> um, so anyways yeah that's 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 all I got Here's all the bike. It's a little dirty. I was supposed to go to a car wash today. Unfortunately, um, I forgot my rags, so I won't be able to wipe it down. Um, so I'll probably just come back the next day. So it's not, it's not a big deal. All right, let's see. 
Uh, currently on this bike, I only got, let me see, I have many miles on this bike. 427. I don't know if you can see that. But it's there, it's 427. Uh, pretty brand new bike. I, I got this bike off a private seller. Really, really cheap. Um, originally wanted the uh, 2018 Racer. Uh, one of the guys that's selling up in Santa Barbara backed out on me, so which is good because I found this bike. Um, original owner had the Harley Davidson, uh, and he bought this bike just out of I don't know, um, maybe just you know, it was there, it was offered to him, so <clears throat> he tried to sell it as fast as he can. I was there, paid him cash. Um, again, a retail for this, all the options basically that came out, I, I believe on the website is 19,000 plus. Um, all the parts I've added, that's probably additional one. I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't even want to count and just in case my wife sees this. I got it for free. Um, they're all free anyway, so right? Wink, wink. Um, yeah, so that's it. Um, so far... Uh, nothing else that I go and upgrade on this bike except maybe the rear set not not I'm not in a rush for that one yet I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with that um, the way how I sit I sit on this bike I'm 5'8 150 pounds uh, 150 155 yeah I just ate so five pounds extra there um, yeah pretty good uh, a little heavy especially um, for this bike compared to a, uh, a other sports bike out there is about roughly 480 pounds I think wet I've already taken out the exhaust the rear pillion the bar basically that goes up here I don't know nobody's gonna sit on this bike but me so I didn't need the second seat um, yeah that's pretty much it uh, let me know if you guys have any questions uh, comment down below I'll try to answer as much as I can um, so if anything that you guys wanted to see on this bike let me know um, maybe I'll go ahead and get those and I didn't want to do a lot of uh, do-it-yourself and how to install all these items there's a lot of them online already so um, just wanted to basically just install it and let, ride it so but if you do have a question how everything is installed let me know down comment down below I'll go ahead and answer your questions all right guys Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you like this. Uh, like. Alright, peace out. Thanks.